Hey guys, welcome to another Pick a Card. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we are going to look at what your love life uh, could possibly look like in 2022. So we have three piles. Um, this is more of a predictive type of read, so it may not resonate with you right at this moment since 2022 has yet to start as I'm recording this. Um, so some of you, depending on kind of when you're watching this, it may resonate <laughs> if you were in 2022. Um, but yeah, we have three piles. This can be if you're single as well as if you're dealing with someone, we'll kind of see what comes up in the piles. Um, there, obviously, if you're single, you're probably hoping that you'll be dealing with someone. Otherwise, you probably won't be watching this. <laughs> but um, so we'll see what comes up for you guys and we'll see kind of what comes out um, in the cards. So I've pre-pulled Oracle cards for each pile. I'm going to live pull tarot and we're going to pull some um, advice at the end. Um, but we have... Three piles, like I said, timestamps will be down below. We have pile number one here with the um, strawberry quartz. We have pile number two in the center with this smaller crystal. I forget what it's called. And then we have pile number three with this nice big pink heart. So take the time to choose which pile you feel the most drawn to. Um, again, timestamps will be down below so you can click on those to enter your reading. Um, but again, they are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest, um, as sometimes only parts of the messages resonate with you, uh, not sometimes like the whole picture, right? So just take what resonates, use your own intuition, and um, yeah, use them as guidance. <laughs> so um, I will see you guys in your reading. Take your time to uh, choose, and if you need to pause the video at this moment, you can, okay? Hi, pile number one, welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose the strawberry quartz, more kind of more raw crystal. This is gonna be your reading for what your love life um, might look like in 2022. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest, it's general. We're gonna actually go about things a little different. I'm going to pull some tarot here to start um, and then we'll get into the oracles. So, um, what is 2022 looking like in love for group number one? <clears throat> that came out quickly. So we have the star. This is the fountain tarot. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of healing just even around relationships or just like your love life in general. Things could be kind of improving for you. Yeah, six of wands, um, which would indicate, you know, success, um, successful new beginnings even for some of you is what I'm hearing. Okay, it's almost too with the six of wands. It's like you're you're starting to you're almost like ready to get yourself out there. Some of you have done a lot of healing work already, and so you're kind of ready to um, be noticed or even just like ready to receive attention or ready to step into relationships. Um, so it's kind of like I almost feel too possibly in 2021 um, or just up until this point. There's maybe been a lot of um, like challenging situations because we go obviously from the five of wands to the six of wands so with the six of wands here it makes me feel like you've overcome some sort of challenge or some sort of obstacle and really kind of like healed and, and done th uh, the work around that and then we also have the justice card so this really feels like a lot of you are balancing out karma when it comes to your love life some of you could be getting into a relationship with that justice card okay and then we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this feels like the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So this feels like whatever challenges you've been going through when it comes to relationships, group number one up until this point, it feels like 2022 is gonna be a bit of a turnaround. Um, even if it still continues to be challenging as you enter 2022, it feels as though things are gonna be restored. There's gonna be sen a sense of balance restored here for you um, when it comes to your love life as you move through um, move through the year is what it feels like. The Empress card here at the bottom of the deck makes me feel like um, you're very attractive at this time. People are very attracted to you, especially with the star and the Empress. Like people are probably are gravitating a little bit towards you. Um, you could be getting a lot of attention from people, whether you're in a relationship with them or not. Um, so it's like people are starting to maybe see or they are acknowledging, you know, kind of how 
um, beautiful or handsome, however you want to resonate with that, um, people are, are noticing you and could be giving you a lot of attention, especially with the Libra of Justice and then also the Empress card, of both uh, Venus energies. Um, some of you could be also, as we start out 2022 um, into January, depending on kind of when you're watching this, but um, you can always re reflect back on it. But with January, um, we're in Venus and Capricorn, which is also retrograde until the end of January. And then it's, it continues into um, in the sign of Capricorn until March. So during that time period, there could have been a lot of reflection, a lot of healing kind of through um, Capricorn Aquarius season. Okay. And then um, I think that that's where you're kind of healing from something challenging that you've probably been through, um, but also, you know, kind of overcoming any sort of obstacles that you've had with relationships. So this really feels like doing a lot of healing work around relationships and just kind of um, letting go of, with this Ten of Swords, like letting go of the past, which hasn't yet worked out for you or hasn't worked, worked out. Um, so let's get more cards here. Um, group number one, 2022 in love. What can they expect? We have the Eight of Cups. And let's see, group number one, we have the page of coins. Some of you have learned a lot from your past as well, okay? Um, and you continue, yeah, there's that five of wands underneath the justice card. A lot of you are ready to explore. A lot of you have left the past behind. Um, you're stepping into this new energy, Ace of Pentacles with that Ten of Swords. So some of you could have left a relationship behind. We have the Ace of Wands here, Knight of Cups. It feels like you do have the potential to enter a new relationship um, if you're looking for that this year. But um, it does feel like you're restoring some sort of karma when it comes to relationships, possibly in a relationship. Some of you could be, um, if you've walked away from someone in the past, you could be kind of um, coming back together with this person for some of you. Others of you have left someone behind and you're entering a new relationship or you're ready to enter a new relationship. So this feels more like a pile of people who um, have done a lot of work on themselves, done a lot of work in the department of relationships over this last little while and are ready to step into new things and explore. The Six of Wands with the Page of Pentacles makes me feel like you're ready to explore options, you're ready to explore uh, new things when it comes to love. Um, also re like ready to get yourself out there, like almost like um, maybe you've been kind of hermiting <laughs> for the last couple years, right? With obviously all that's been going on in the world. So maybe it's like you're ready to kind of get yourself back out there, to go on dates, get to know people, let people get to know you as well. Um, so this feels like you're kind of overcoming definitely some sort of challenging situation, 501's justice. Some of you have just had maybe a little bit of struggle when it comes to relationships um, or love that it's, again, it's like you're clearing that. I really feel like you're healing from this and kind of like letting it go. Okay, so um, it looks really good for you guys. I feel like there's a lot of positive energy here for your love life in 2022. Um, as well as, you know, there may be challenges with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups, but it, it's like almost like you're not going to let that stop you from moving forward. Okay, so let's see what your oracles are. We have Palm Tree. Uh, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So yeah, it's like, again, you're not giving up on your situation when it comes to your life. Again, there's like a lot of optimism, but I also sense that there could be a more stable situation coming into your life with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here, um, where there's a potential for growth um, in a situation. I don't see any people here. Um, like, you know, like an, a court card in that sense. But I do feel like there's, there's the potential with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, okay? There is the Knight of Cups behind that, okay? So... Again, I feel like there's potential, but it feels new, honestly. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth, sorry, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So yeah, this feels like you guys are getting ready to, you know, enter a new relationship or just like put yourself out there and get to know people more, um, explore your options, like that sort of thing. Um, we have the second chakra, which is the 
um, sacral chakra. So feminine energy, receptivity. I feel like you're open. This is also a very like, um, this can be sexual energy as well, being that um, this is the reproductive chakra, <laughs> creative chakra, creativity. So a lot of you, um, maybe you've done some work around even your feminine energy, okay, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter, but done work around feminine, feminine, feminine energy, receptivity, um, creativity, right? Getting your creative spark back. Um, and I think that that's helping your love life as well. Yeah, angel of strength. So strong, like fiery, passionate energy is what I'm getting off of these two cards, a lot of orange, okay? And there's even a lot of orange in this five of wands. So some of you could have really been balancing out um, your sacral chakra through this past little while. We have you've got time, so there's no need to rush here for you, group number one. I almost feel like it's taken some time for you, um, you know, getting to this point. I don't feel like, I, again, I feel like that you're, maybe some of you aren't in a rush. I definitely feel like you're leaving something challenging behind or you, you have left something challenging behind. Um, again, you're ready to step into something new and you want something stable, definitely. Um, but I just don't feel like there's a rush, right? There's not a, there's not a rush to... Um, so if you do end up in a relationship, it might kind of like take its time or just take its own natural course. There's no need to kind of force anything. I'm not really getting that off of you guys, though. I'm not really feeling like that's what you want to do. Um, it feels like you're you're ready for something stable, but you're also with this angel of strength. You're not going to, um, you're going to be able to hold yourself back from like trying to push and rush things is what it feels like. We have well-deserved reward, which is the nine of pentacles. Uh, we have the base chakra, which is the root chakra, number one. So again, more kind of like ready, red, grounded, practical, fiery energy too. Uh, we have refusing to see the two of swords. And we have lead, number four, which is the emperor. So some of you don't see, some of you don't know who this person is. Whoever is coming in, um, it feels as though... A lot of you are focused on yourself or you have been focused on yourself where you're focused on you know your day-to-day -day. some of you have been maybe been focused on a business or some sort of like financial matter with the Emperor and the nine of Pentacles like you definitely could have been focused on business um, or just your finances getting those under control stabilizing your environment especially with the root chakra here as well this talks about like um, having a sense of foundation stability as well I also feel like the person again there's a sense of like that whoever is coming into your life is going to be able to provide a sense of stability for you, whether that's an emotional stability, material stability, what have you. It just feels like the person who you're probably attracting into your life is very mature. Um, and I also feel like you're at this stage too. Like this really feels like a mutual thing between the two of you that you're both at this level ready for commitment. Um, and if you're not if you don't find this person, this is like what you're holding out for. You're like, this is, you're, want, you're looking for an emperor, right? You're looking for somebody who's like, you know, got their shit together essentially. So this feels like a lot of you have probably been working on your own stability, healing again, like your own wounds, um, your own kind of, I almost said drama, <laughs> healing your own um, situations when it comes to relationships. But a lot of you don't know this person with this two of swords. I'm getting like, you don't know who this emperor is. Okay, or you don't know who this this person is that's coming into your life. So it could be a brand new person for some of you. Um, some of you could work, meet this person through work. Okay. But I do feel like um, there's more stability with this root chakra. There's more stability um, and even the sacred chakra. There's more stability coming into your love life um, in 2022 is what it feels like. And that's what I get from that. So it just feels like a very like, um, this feels like a very mature group. This feels like a very, um, like you've definitely gone through your challenges. You definitely have gone through your heartache and your pain and um, having to walk away from certain situations. But I feel like it's gotten to this place, gotten you to this place of healing, being able to heal, being able to, able to, able to overcome. Jeez, I can't speak. <laughs> um, and it may have taken you some time to get here, but it's like you're finally at this place of like balanced um, energy where... 
I think if you find someone, you're open and you're ready, but also if you don't, you're still stable within yourself is what it feels like. So um, your last Oracle card that I've already pulled here, we have vision. No matter what you see, sorry, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, sorry, I cannot read or speak today. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So it feels like you guys are just very open. You have this vision of what it is that you want. And again, it's like if this person doesn't come into your life that matches this, you know, st stable person or identity of a person, um, if this isn't the person that you are looking for, it's like you're going to hold out for that. That type of relationship that you're looking for is what it feels like. Um, you have this vision, this hope for the type of relationship that you're looking for. And I think that you're ready to receive it. But I also feel like you're being patient um, in the sense that you are not rushing. You're not in a rush. You know that like the person will come in the right time is what it feels like. So we're going to close this out with um, these are some how to, they're called how to love yourself cards, but they're just little like quotes. So let's see what you kind of need to focus on from your side of things when it comes to relationships so these can be little mantras that you can use um, but these could be things that maybe could come up for you that you need to kind of look at within yourself uh, when it comes to relationships so um, what does group one need to know for 2022 all right so we have have the power to make change it says every habit and pattern i create serves me in some way when i'm ready to let go the universe helps me release it so this really feels like you guys are letting go of something from the past and it's allowing you to bring in something new and a change to your love life but in a positive way is what it feels like um, it says i live and work in comfort and ease and beauty my home is a reflection of me and i choose to make it a wonderful place to live so some of you are really focused on like your environment your own personal environment literally could be a home okay but this really feels like again creating a sense of stability in your own life before entering another relationship so if you're not stable in your life it feels like that's what you maybe need to focus on which is going to help bring in another stable person um, because we attract kind of the energy that we're in the frequency that we're in right um, some of you like your day-to-day -day routines are things that you could focus on your habits your patterns could be relationship patterns as well um, and really just, again, focusing on that stability and knowing that when you're ready and when you're in the right frequency, you're going to be able to attract the type of relationship um, that you're looking for. So this looks really good. Group number one, um, again, this might not resonate right this moment as 2022 has yet to happen, but um, take what resonates. Obviously, leave the rest. This could be something you come back to at a later date. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. It means so, so much to me. Um, if you're watching this before the holidays, have a wonderful holidays. And um, I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Hi, group number two. Welcome. If you chose this pile, uh, you chose the smaller little crystal <laughs> that was in the center. Uh, this is going to be your reading for um, what 2022 could be bringing you when it comes to your love life. So take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. These are general, right? So they're not gonna resonate with everyone or little pieces of it might resonate, um, but maybe not the whole story. So kind of, again, just use your own intuition around what is your story. If it's not making sense, it probably isn't your story. <laughs> so we are actually going to start with tarot first. I usually start with the Oracle cards, but we're gonna leave those till the end. Um, so let's kind of see what's going on for your group two what could come up here in love for group two in 2022 what could come up here in love for group two in 2022 what do they need to know about their love life first card out we have the two of swords this is the light seers tarot by the way so some of you might feel a little bit like in conflict when it comes to um, love or maybe you're kind of caught up in your head about something. For some of you, I feel like this could be the start of the year for you that you're feeling this way. What else does group two need to know, please, when it comes to their love life for um, 
2022. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hanged Man. Interesting. And what else do we need to know? Ace of Wands. And we have Justice card at the bottom. Um, okay, group two. This kind of feels like um, you're in limbo a little bit. I feel like there could possibly be a new spark here with the Ace of Wands, but it really feels like there's a need to kind of surrender your energy. I feel like you could be kind of caught in your head, especially need, like, like I had said, the, the beginning of the year. Um, almost needing to, I don't know why I was getting that with the two of swords, but I was getting that like that could be a current thing that's going on or this is, could be like coming into 2022 in the beginning of it. You might be kind of caught up in your mind or your head, but it could be any time of the year. So take it as it resonates. Could be with regards to a specific situation. But it really feels like with this Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man, it's like there's a need to kind of surrender to the outcome of a situation. That's what it feels like. Um... I do feel like things are going to work itself out. We have the Justice card here at the bottom of the deck. Um, but I really feel like with the Queen of Cups, she's got her hands up, right? Like kind of like she's just like, I, I surrender, like white flag, you know? Um, and so there could be this need to kind of just go with the flow, kind of get out of your head, maybe shift your perspective on something here or shift your perspective to something new. Um, Whatever the situation, I do feel like there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of desire. There's a, like chemistry um, if you're dealing with someone. But it's like you you might not really be sure of like where things are going is kind of what I'm getting. Um, and so I feel like there's this energy of just kind of, kind of needing to like let things happen as they, as they do, you know, not trying to force this situation, okay? Um, let's get some more cards here. We have Judgment with the Two of Swords. So some of you may have a decision which is kind of keeping you caught up into your head. Some of you are going to, like, it's like I give up. You could be giving up on a situation and, and just moving on, okay? Yeah, we have the Star. We have the Devil. A lot of majors here so far. Oh, boy. I'm going to take that one. King of Swords. So some of you are honestly, I feel like you're going to detach yourself. You're going to cut yourself loose from a situation. A lot of you are dealing with something karmic. Uh, it feels like, for this group, it feels like this is something you're entering 2022 with. But throughout 2022, there's going to be this moment or this opportunity for you to make a decision here. I do think it's going to be challenging for you at first. Okay. Um... This is going to be something that you probably struggle to make some sort of a decision with. But you're also awakening or seeing something differently, I feel, with judgment um, and the hanged man here. It feels like you're seeing something differently and surrendering. You have hope for the future, Queen of Cups and the Star. I feel like there's a lot of hope with um, your love life and hope that you're still going to find what you're looking for when it comes to love. A lot of you are going to detach yourself from something and, and move forward. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to find someone right away. Um, this could just mean that um, you're just ready to step into something new. The hanged man and the devil, this feels a little bit like you've probably been stuck in limbo, okay, in a situation, one that's kept you stuck. Definitely could be a karmic cycle here, okay, one that you've been repeatedly um, disappointed by five of cups and the king of cups so this probably is like maybe someone you've been in a relationship with or someone you've had a definitely a connection with okay it feels like there's a strong connection with king and queen of cups but it also feels like you've maybe continued continually been disappointed by this situation or having to wait and it's almost like what you've been waiting for hasn't shown up so some of you could be choosing to move on leaving a situation behind whatever has been kind of like holding you back with this um it's kind of kept you stagnant, right? It's kind of kept your kept your love life in limbo is what it feels like. Um, and this is what you're, I feel like throughout 2022, you're going to be processing and releasing because with the uh, King of Swords and the Ace of Wands, it makes me feel like you kind of become detached um, and really kind of start 
focusing your energy on new things okay some of you might even not even focus on love you might just focus on like a project or something creative with the ace of wands but um, others of you too this also could feel as though it's like you might i'm trying to figure out how like how to word this but it like, you might um not want to be in a relationship by the end of the year like you might just be going solo here with the king of swords and the ace of wands like um maybe meeting new people and that sort of thing but maybe not looking anything for looking for anything serious Okay, some of you could be dealing with someone, though, who is like this, who they're very non-committal in some aspect. And I think that this is like someone who you're trying to, you're releasing a, definitely some sort of a relationship um, when it comes to a person here is what it feels like uh, for you, group number two. So I think you're going to be able to heal from this. The Queen of Cups and the Star makes me feel like you're healing from this uh, throughout this year and possibly definitely releasing this uh, from your energy. So let's see uh, what your oracle cards have to say about all this. <laughs> so we have the clock. So it says, need time takes time in, uh, in time, cycles, time to heal, and progress. So I do feel like you're going to make progress this year when it comes to this situation that you're dealing with. Um, it feels like you've, again, it feels like you've been in a cycle or it's some sort of a pattern that you keep repeating that I think you're detaching yourself from. You're healing from something um, when it comes to patterns. We also have the butterfly. Um, we have It says relationships evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, so I just feel like, again, this is more of that transformative energy. Butterflies are transformation. They kind of indicate like death and rebirth, right? Kind of like the... Um, the death card in the tarot. So it feels like you're evolving ready for the next phase or going to be ready for the next phase of your love life. Yeah, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we also have honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you definitely could be around another person or again, there might be someone, I did put it over the Ace of Wands, so there could be someone new who you're kind of in like the honeymoon phase with um, that you kind of start spending time with. It could be an air sign for some of you. Um, but I also feel like this is a big year for you guys to really heal from something uh, karmic. Again, it doesn't have to be a specific person, but it could just be like the way relationships have been for you up until this point. So again, like because the devil can be patterns, right? Things that we consistently keep ourselves in. Um, we also have number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. So again, it's like you're entering this kind of like gateway, this portal. It feels like you're stepping into a better energy, definitely healing from the past, for sure. We have honor thyself. So again, more of that like loving yourself first, putting yourself first, um, knowing when to cut people off and when to set boundaries, especially if they are um, toxic, right? Or codependent, okay? So this really feels about like putting yourself first is going to actually attract the right person in towards you. We have sacral chakra, which is interesting because we had that for group one in this deck. Um, we also have Darkest Fears, Nine of Swords. Okay. We have Clarity of Belief, which is the Ace of Swords. We have Rest and Reconsider, Nine of Wands. And we have Seven of Cups, Daydreams and Decisions. So, um, this does feel like, um... I don't know, there's there's definitely, some of you are healing like your sacral chakra. This feels like something that you will be working on and, and strengthening throughout the year. Um, and it's like there's, there's almost like a little bit of a fear starting something new. Like we have the Ace of Swords. So there is clarity that's coming in towards you, especially if you're stressed and not clear on the situation that you're currently involved in or could be involved in. I think there is going to be clarity, but it's almost like you're going to have to take a break because... It feels like this situation probably exhausts you. Could take a lot of healing work as well. Like this could be something that um, I just feel like it's burdening you in some way. Um, the Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. Okay, so it's like it feels like a long time coming when it comes to relationships here for you. But I really feel like you're going to get the clarity in order to um, look forward in your love life go in a new direction or realize that you deserve better the seven of cups can be a card of confusion as well again i feel like there's clarity coming when it um comes to confusion and like lack of lack of clarity or mental fog 
I also feel like though you're gonna have a lot of opportunities to meet new people and um, explore your options. Some of you are gonna be exploring your options. Like I feel like this is later in the year. Um, like after dealing with this situation, you might um, start exploring your options and be open to dating new people, meeting new people, that sort of thing. But it really feels like for some of you, you're getting clear on the fact that you deserve better. I also feel like you're being choosy. Like you're going to start to get to this point where you're like, I deserve and want this, this, and this in a partner, which is good, right? Because it's like we start to realize more of what we want and what we don't want. So there's going to be this clarity as well when it comes to relationships of like what it is that you're even looking for, right? So it's like, okay, this door might have this option, but then it also has this. So I don't know if I want that. This one has this option. You know what I mean? It's like you're kind of detaching yourself almost um, when making decisions, like being a little bit more maybe logical. So I, the biggest thing is that I see you ending a cycle and healing from a, a, a karmic cycle that you've been kind of caught in. You're going to be stepping into this like new phase of your love life. So it definitely could involve meeting a new person for some of you, like I had said, yeah. but it also kind of has this energy of maybe keeping your options open and meeting new people and just kind of exploring and dating and that sort of thing. Um, your last oracle card that I had pulled here is acceptance. So it says, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So again, it's, a, it's like you're releasing someone or a situation when it comes to your love life and that is um, helping you move forward. And again, it's like you're open to options, you're open to new possibilities when it comes to love. It's like you're ready for something new, but you don't have your eyes fixated on anyone new. Just like it almost feels like you have options open to you. So let's get some last little oracles here. Um, these are how to love yourself cards. I believe they're by, yeah, Louise Hay. So these are gonna be what you kind of need to work on this year. What what do you need to kind of focus on? Um, embrace, you know, kind of on your own from like a self-love perspective, which is always when we love ourselves first, we attract more healthier love into our lives from other people. So let's see what we have for you group two. We have, I affirm only the good in life. It says, I am in harmony with all that surrounds me. I am at peace. So again, it's like you're healing yourself, putting yourself first. We have, I am totally in charge of my life now. Uh, the moment I say positive affirmations, I step out of the victim role. I am no longer helpless. I acknowledge my own power. Yeah, some of you are really realizing your own power and t taking control of the situation to cut something out of your life or to stop partaking in something. Um, and then we also have, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. It says, I see myself healthy, whole, and living in a society where it is safe for me to be who I am and to love others. So again, I'm kind of getting like exploring your options a little bit. And you're like kind of just knowing that like opportunities are going to present themselves. So it's like you don't really need to force anything. There's a sense of confidence that I feel is coming off of you a little bit where it's like you feel good because you've detached yourself from something, you've overcome a challenge and obstacle. you feel more empowered, you feel more empowered um, to be able to attract good things and good relationships into your life um, and that you're not going to be, be put back into this cycle. So this feels good. This feels like an awakening almost to like your relationship life. Um, and again, some of you may have a, a new person that you could be spending time with. I don't really feel like it's going to enter like a committed relationship, but, and some of you are still going to be um, exploring your options like regardless. So, um, but it, it really just feels like you are, your biggest thing in, in 2022 is just like releasing this karmic situation. So that is what I have for you. Group number two, hopefully that resonates for you. Let me know down below. Um, remember that it is um, kind of more predictive. So it might be something that you can kind of come back to. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. And if you're watching this before the holidays, I hope you have a wonderful and safe um, and happy holidays. So I hope you have a good one and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, group number three, welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose the nice big pink heart crystal. Uh, this is going to be your reading for uh, what your love life could look like in 2022. 
Um, it is general, so take what resonates. It's also kind of predictive as I'm recording this when 2022 has yet to happen. So take what resonates, leave the rest. It might be something that resonates kind of um, after the fact. So it uh, could be a, a reading that you can kind of come back to, okay? So we're actually going to look at the Oracle cards after. We're gonna pull some tarot first. I'm gonna do things the opposite way <laughs> that I typically do them. Um, but let's kind of see what could be coming up here for you guys. Group number three. All right, group three, what could be coming up for their love life in 2022? What do they need to know about their love life for group, uh, group number three, 2022? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Swords. This is the uh, Modern Witch Tarot, if you are not familiar. All right. We also have the King of Swords and the Hanged Man. So things are a little slow here, it looks like, um, or could be just moving slowly or feel like they're moving slowly. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. It kind of feels like you could be, could be de definitely dealing with either a Pisces or an Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel as though, you don't have to be also, by the way, <laughs> but it kind of feels like there's something like slowly kind of brewing here. It feels like there could be something at a stand foot still, and it feels like one person is resistant. Um, there could be also too, like, I don't know if like someone, you don't trust someone with the seven of swords, the king of swords. It makes me feel like maybe you don't trust uh, what someone's saying or what they have to say. So this feels like kind of, I don't know, things, uh, there needs to be a change in something here, a shift in this, uh, in your love life or just in a situation. It feels like it involves another person. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands here. So it's like, I don't know. It's almost like there's some sort of burden. Um, yeah, Ten of Wands, Justice, Two of Cups, and the Hierophant. So some of you have been in a relationship um, or you're in a relationship that, or a situation, uh, uh, some sort of a partnership of some sort, right? This could just be... Um, this could be a spiritual union in the sense that like there's a strong soul tie to one another but maybe you haven't act entered like a practical 3d relationship you know what i'm saying so you probably know this person but um well you definitely know this person but it's more of a it's like you're seeing each other or you're dating or whatever but it's never been a committed relationship um some of you it has some of you it has not but it feels like there's some sort of burden that's come up here or something that you're kind of going through with this person Okay, so this feels like a group of people who are already dealing with someone um, or will be dealing with someone in 2022. But this feels like, I don't know, something stagnant. It makes me feel like someone's a little more closed off. One of, one of the two of you is closed off, kind of holding back, holding, um, slowing things down, trying to slow things down. Someone could be trying to avoid this relationship as well, okay? Um, let's clarify these cards and kind of see what else could be coming up for your group three um, in 2022 with your love life. What is going on here for them? Uh, spirit in 2022, what do they need to know? Yeah, five of swords. I kind of feel like um, the way someone has been approaching this situation has been deceptive. This feels like a lot of deception. We have the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles with the King of Swords and the Six of Swords with the Hanged One. We have the Tower here at the bottom. Queen of Cups. I kind of feel like... Um, Someone's been a little reserved, like almost like slow in their approach. Um, this feels a little bit like um, someone's got to kind of shift their perspective or sh this situation I almost feel has to shift. Hanged Man and the Six of Swords makes me feel like in order for things to move forward, things have to change. Things have to um, maybe be released or let go of in this situation. Someone could be let going of another, but it feels as though the, the approach that someone has been taking or the, it almost feels like the speed of which they've been taking is not 
it's like it's not fast enough with the five of swords and the king of pentacles or sorry knight of pentacles here sorry this makes me feel like the way that this person has been approaching this situation or the way they've been going about it the steps that they've been taking has come across as a little bit deceptive um, almost like they're trying to control this situation too much and how it moves like um this person you or this person might have a hard time expressing yourself okay it feels like there's a communication issue between you and this person whoever this is that you're dealing with in 2022 that um it almost you i think some of you question whether this person really wants this to work whether they want this to move in a good direction i do feel like there could be definitely some sort of an offer here um and they are going to communicate with you whoever this person is but I just feel like the approach is, is, there's not a lot of emotion here, as you can tell. Right? We got all pentacles and swords up until this hanged man. So someone may have to release or surrender the emotional space. Okay? The hanged one or the, the hanged man is uh, Pisces energy. And interesting because we have the queen of cups and the tower here. So again, it's like, emotionally there's something that needs to kind of be expressed i think um let me get one more with this hanged man here for group three what is this hanged man here for group three in 2022 can we get clarification we have the world someone could be releasing this in the strength death card three of wands Something definitely needs to be let go of. I just don't know if you're let, letting go of this person or someone you, they could be walking away. Someone feel It feels like someone's walking away. I'm even seeing the Ten of Swords back in here. Um, we have the Death card, obviously the Strength. But it's taking a lot of strength to be able to do that. Some of you might just kind of, like, especially if you're dealing with someone who's a little bit stubborn or hard to deal with, I kind of feel like um, you might just kind of say, like, I'm just going to walk away from this and just see you later. This feels like um, wanting to definitely kind of close out a chapter here when it comes to a relationship or the way things have been going because it feels deceptive. Five of Swords, ten, Seven of Swords, it ain't, it's not really a good combo. Um, but it feels more about like the lack of etch effort that this person's putting in or this lack of um, emotion possibly. It's like the way that they go about things feels deceptive. Even if it's not deceptive, it just feels that way. It's like, it's almost like it's hard to trust them. That's what I'm getting from that. So what do we have here? We have kisses, uh, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. We also have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. Again, I feel like this is definitely a soulmate. Um, it feels like you're already in a relationship with this person or you're already dealing with this person in some aspect. So you already obviously feel some sort of a connection with them. But then we have separation. So it says, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you are going to distance yourself, separate separate yourself. Okay, the world card is distance and so is the six of swords. Someone might move as well or leave, like maybe they move out. Okay, if you're living with this person. Um, but there could be distance, could even be emotional distance. Okay, so again, I've already picked up on the fact that there's not a whole lot of emotions here. Um, we also have uh, the first chakra, which is the root chakra. It feels like the masculine person in this connection is the one who's distant. Because we got king, king of pentacles, king of swords, um, the root chakra there. Okay. We also have forgive. We have the lovers with love, number six. We have the crown chakra. So interesting that we have the root and then we have the crown. So uh, chakra number one and then chakra number seven. So that's like the top and the bottom. So it, again, I feel like you're very, you feel very connected to this person. There's a lot of love here with the heart chakra here, but there's also a lot of like um, someone holding back the strength card, number eight, control. So someone's holding back from this connection, which is preventing there's there's a need for forgiveness here strong connection but i also feel like someone's holding back when it comes to their heart space they're 
trying to control maybe this relationship and how it moves forward or how it doesn't move forward, but it also feels like someone's holding back how they feel. They know how they feel. This person's very aware. But I also feel, and they, they may ask for your forgiveness, but I do feel like you're going to separate yourself from someone. Okay, there's a lot of passion here between you and this person. There's a lot of connection. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, and again, there's kind of this like soulmate or like just strong like spiritual element to this connection. Um, you feel very connected to them. Um, and I think you have a lot of love for this person. This person has a lot of love for you. But it's like for some reason, someone is withholding how they feel or just not expressing themselves. There's like a lack of emotion um, when it comes to this connection is what it feels like. I don't think it's not there. I just think it's not expressed is what it feels like. Because it feels like the communication between the two of you is not, you guys aren't on the same page when it comes to your communication. Um, the last card that we have here for you, um, it says responsibility. So it says you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So again, the, the expression of love, it almost feels like there's an imbalance as well. Because it in this kisses, it talks about giving and receiving affection, falling in love. It almost feels like maybe there's not a balance when it comes to giving and receiving love. Um, and that could be why there's this separation between the two of you that comes up um, so obviously not the most ideal situation. I, this doesn't mean that you're not going to get back together because we do have the forgive card. Okay. But this might just be, you're on a bit of a pause or some of you just walk away completely, or there's some distance here. You could also just be dealing with someone who is emotionally distant throughout this year. Okay. And so that's going to be a bit of the challenge when it comes to this relationship is that emotional aspect because, um, it's going, it, 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 that's what can kind of make or break a relationship, obviously, right? Communication is huge. Some of you also, it's like you both might, <clears throat> if you're in a situation, this will only apply to some of you. So again, like put it in your little back pocket, but learning each other's love languages I just got might be beneficial. I got love languages. So some of you, both of you could be giving and receiving affection, but if you're not giving what the other person wants, it feels like you're not getting what you want from this relationship, but really the two of you just don't know each other's love languages. So if you love, I don't know, gift giving, but this person wants physical touch, it's like you're, you could continue giving them gifts, but they're like, that's not what I want. And I'm, so that therefore they don't feel satisfied, right? So, <clears throat> and vice versa, sorry. So some of you, that could be part of this too. It's like a love language thing. But I do feel like at one point you may separate from this person but separation doesn't mean that it's permanent. So keep that in mind, okay? And there's obviously always the opportunity to change the outcome of situation, okay? So let's get some last cards here. These are the How to Love Yourself cards from Louise Hay. These are gonna kind of give us an idea of what you can focus on, right? Because when we have more self-love, we attract better love partners into our lives. So let's see what you need to focus on group three um, in 2022 when it comes to love. What does group three need to focus on when it comes to their love? And we get one more, there we go. Ooh, we got matching cards. Okay, so we have, my business is prosperous. It says, I rejoice in other people's successes because I know there is plenty for everyone an interesting card we also have I have abundance in all areas of my life I claim abundance for myself right here and right now I deserve to be prosperous I deserve my good so two different messages here with these cards because these actually match so obviously abundance and material success or just success in your life in general is being highlighted here having a positive outlook and that you know the universe is abundant and that there's not ever this like piece of a pie kind of thing because it is anybody it doesn't matter if like if I take a bigger piece that doesn't mean that your piece is automatically going to be smaller it's it's ever giving right so some of you could maybe need to focus more on your material there could be something career wise that's coming up for you that you, maybe you need to focus on or even just uh, material wise like from a financial perspective okay so if that's your situation take it um, others of you this is also 
this is looking at relationships from an, an abundant place. So just because maybe it doesn't work out with this person or just because other people have love in their life and you haven't yet found your situation that's working for you yet, doesn't mean that there's not that out there for you. So I think this is also a highlight of like keeping a positive outlook when it comes to your love life and that whatever situations or challenges that you come up against is not the be all end all and doesn't have to be the be all end all. You can always uh, change your situation or improve your situation if you choose to do so. Um, and so having the social proof of other people's good relationships and success that they have in their life when it comes to relationships should give you the motivation and the hope that there's plenty out there for you as well and that you're capable of achieving that and having that for yourself as well. So if this relationship doesn't work out for you, it doesn't mean that that's the end of the road and that's, you know, that you're, nothing's coming for you. It just means that you just haven't found your thing yet. And maybe this situation is going to improve so that you do find your thing, but everyone has their own story and, um, you know, you're capable of having love too. Like it doesn't mean that you're not going to have it. So. This feels like keeping a positive outlook when it comes to your relationships. Also for some of you, again, like I said, like focusing maybe on your material world or just on your abundance, um, being open and receptive. Some of you, maybe you're the closed off one, okay? And, um, you know, you need to open yourself to, up to being receptive, right? That could be a possibility as well. But with this forgive, it's like someone needs to forgive themselves or the situation in order for this to have any sort of a chance is what it feels like. So... That is what I have for you, group number three. Hopefully that resonates. If not, you can check out any of the other readings. Um, let me know down below if it does resonate. And as well, um, you guys can um, follow me um, on my channel as well as check out any other readings that I do. I do individual sign readings as well. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being with me today, watching, liking, subscribing. And um, I will see you in the next one. If I don't see you guys before the holidays and you're watching this before the holidays. Um, I hope you have had a wonderful um, holiday time with your family. Happy New Year and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.